Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that March difficulty. Today, we're gonna finally continue on with the main story, the main quest. And uh, we're gonna do the quest Ugly Baby today. If you remember, we need to uh, find Uma and bring him back to uh, check him up on what the curse he uh, he's suffering from, what it's actually about. Because we've seen that in the flashback that we got from Skjol, uh, the dead guy that we interrogated. And we're gonna try and get Uma back from the, well back, not really back, but uh, from the Baron's sergeant, since the Baron has killed himself. So only the sergeant is left in Crow's Perch. He would always be the one that's left because uh, if you had the happier ending for the Baron, he would have left with Anna to get her cured. So the Baron would always be the one, uh, the Baron Sergeant would always be the one that's left here. Hello, Sergeant. Need to talk to you. About? A funny little creature. Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything, I'm telling you. You can try to stop me. All that but aggression. Then bring your enlightened reign to an end, an abrupt and premature end. Yeah, because we won't. Shaking in my boots. You, you should, should be. As hell should be. <laughs> Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. So I still don't really know what Uma really is, or more precisely, who he really is. Is it Siri that had a, a curse cast upon her? Is it someone else? Maybe someone that knows Siri. Maybe we'll find out. So, let's talk to the stable master. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Uh, I'm not gonna promise that. Find some other diversion. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. <laughs> Open the door. Now. He wants to blow you up. There he is. Look at the little fella. Hey, little guy. Aren't you a lovely guy? This here's Roach. Yeah, Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on. Come on, little fella. Yeah, I also forgot to mention seeing the uh, the <laughs> look at him, seeing the griffin heads hanging from Roach. You could uh, get a reward from the quartermaster here for the griffin we killed to uh, get that asset for Joanna in the previous quest. But I did that in between recordings. Look at how happy he is. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. Hello, Nil Guardians. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Ah, we could. Fine, lead the way. But of course we, uh... Well, we're a bit sidetracked now. We need to report to the Emperor first, instead of heading straight to Kaer Morin with the uh, Uma. But hopefully this won't take too long. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. 
Hello, Tywin Lannister. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty. Our spies report that the garrison at Ban Glen consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Hello, Hello General Voris. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. Oh, yes, hello, yes. love. At once. So, as usual, we should be, well, relatively friendly the to the Majesty, Emperor. Yennefer. <laughs> I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. So, um, we could be brazen and say I don't take orders from you, but have it your way, Majesty. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. We're not. But, uh... That must, this monstrosity might be our daughter. But first, I know where Siri was and what she did. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self styled baron who. Yes, yes, I know my vassals. Who helped her get to Novigrad where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the wild hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. Of course we did. But we're very close until you uh, stopped us and forced us to come here. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries. But to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. You need only ask. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. Well, that's at least something. When you bring me Siri. Um, I don't intend to bring her here. Or so be it. We'll uh, keep, him ha keep him happy for now, so be it. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Goodbye, Emperor. So that didn't take too long. Five minutes. <laughs> I do love the guy. Your biting wit, where did it go? <laughs> Let's not antagonize her too much. Uh, the curse, how do we lift it? So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. You could at least here, take Uma with you. better if you keep it. Of course. The phylactery. I'm off. Goodbye. Okay,
His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Kaer Morhen, one week later. Still with the griffin hat attached. Uma's a bit tired, apparently. Oh, there. That's Axie Roach, because uh, he's a bit spooked because of the wyvern that just passed. Fork tails this close to the fortress. Someone's been slacking off. Fork tail, I'm sorry. Looked like a wyvern to me, but Gerald's the expert. And look at that. It's been a while, although, well, it's not even been a while since the first time we saw it was at the beginning of the game. And that was a dream sequence, so we've not really been here for real in this uh, game until now. Hello, Vesemir. Too long. Uma, uma, uma. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this now now terrified. And if it was right on one count, thing sure isn't pretty. Yen is already here. Why would that be a surprise? She teleported here. She was here five minutes after we left. So why so dirty? Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. And of course she did, so... She's already here, of course, but Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? Uh, apparently not. She teleports in, not even a nice to see. It jumps right into a, we've a curse to lift. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. The bed? That was a good bed. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Oh. That explains uh, everything. Now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. I think jealousy is a... Uh... Bit of a more logical explanation for that. What's she planning? So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it. Sounds like her, all right. She never explains anything. Must have her reasons. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So, and then, uh, finally, where is everyone? So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Sounds Lambert's great. still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. <laughs> I should let her Poor know. Poor Vesemir. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. So, uh, what is Roach doing? Roach? Roach, this, this is not the time for that. 
Don't know, don't know what you're doing, but well, have fun with that. Um, so we have three tasks right now. Look at that. It is so pretty. So we can either help Yennefer fix the megascope, talk to Lambert about journeying to the Circle of Elements to enrich the uh, phylactery, or find Askel and help him fight those fork tails. Ooh, blow balls. I need blow balls, I think, for uh, alchemy purposes. Um, the other thing we can do, but I'm gonna have to search for it a bit, is actually find the bed that uh, Yennefer threw out of the window. Um, and we might find an item over there as well. But let's first check up on Yennefer herself. And maybe we can find the bed along the way. The pendulum. This is also a nice touch. And a lot of loot. There's a lot of loot strewn around here, and some is actually uh, some of it is actually really interesting because you can find a lot of repair kits, which might come in handy. Maybe I'll check the other side for the bed first, and then we'll uh, go inside either way, whether we find it or not. But the weather is nice. There's a hole in the wall. Wait a second, what's this? Oh, this looks like a bed. Tink. Triss's earring. There we go. Good thing I found it. So, let's take it. Get it back to Triss. So when we uh, meet up with Triss again, we can uh, give that to her. It's a tiny little... Uh, Little item you can find before we uh, head back up. But now, let's join with Yennefer up top in uh, what was my room, but... Now she took it for herself, and I'm not really sure whether we will be uh, welcome there right now. Because, well, she's uh, a bit mad. So Lambert is right here, I'm going to leave him over there for now, and I'm going to head around and up towards Yennefer. Because as you might have noticed, this place is pretty big. Um, I'm, I'm going the wrong way, it's down here through this door. There we go. And all the way up the staircase to finally reach the uh, the upper room. Whoa! Oh, Holy shit. shit! That scared the shit out of me. She's already a bit angry. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Ooh. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Why? Why do you always need to put that off? Don't trust us. <laughs> you got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So, I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty Ooh. tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Maybe we will. Um, as a general piece of advice, I don't advise you to start about the bed, because she'll, uh, well, set off in a fury. 
And if you keep pushing, she will eventually end up teleporting you over a lake. So um, I'm going to start that, even though it's an option that's marked in yellow, uh, in white. It's going to end the conversation rather abruptly if you keep pushing that. So what do I do? Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Okay then. Who do you plan to contact? I'm gonna suppose she's not gonna tell me, but... Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I, I think forget? he does. Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Ooh, burn. For your permission. So that was uh, a pretty big burn on the accounts of uh, Geralt's sleeping with other sorceresses. But how do I do this? All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potest Inquisitor. Potestaquisitor. I'm not gonna say that ten times Potesta. in a row. Potestaquisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, that actually made me grinning as well. The way he reacted to that. Ah. One more thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. You're welcome, honey. So, the Podesta quiz it all. I'm um, gonna track the disturbance quest. I'm gonna show you really quickly how it works, just uh, the same as every usable item. Nothing here. See how more the more it crackles, the closer we are. But uh, it's also a really well fancy name for something that's just Latin for uh, power seeker, literally. But that's the Inquisitor is a power seeker. But hey, uh, I'm gonna hold that in my hand for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little break. We're gonna be here for a little while because this uh, main quest goes on for a while. Um, so. We're going to see a lot of care more and hope you enjoy. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. Look at him standing there. And if you really enjoyed everything so far, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you uh, haven't already. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.